Hello beautiful faggots. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to banshee on Ragnarok. So prepare for lots of banshee bombs, shooting, plasma, and be camping like a faggot. So my good friend Flare gets in the mantis. There are two people that go up to laser and you really really need to get control of that laser early on in the game if you want to be successful in any kind of vehicle on Ragnarok. So, here's me camping like a faggot, of course, in the back. Uh, there's not much else you can do in a Banshee unless you just want to go out and die. I see their Banshee pretty early on on our side. Uh, big mistake on his part. Get over there, kill him. Uh, good thing the Manus doesn't actually try to target me that much. So, after he's done, just run back to base. And uh, usually you let your teammates take care of the Mantis. You, you do not want to face the Mantis one on one on a Banshee. It's a big mistake. Um, I almost kind of pull it off here, but of course I had help from my teammates. Uh, miss one Banshee bomb, but nail him with the next two, and he's done. Once you have their Banshee and Mantis down, um, you pretty much have free control of the entire map if you're in a Banshee. So, pretty much uh, just start destroying their entire team. Uh, of course, we're playing capture the flag, so I'm not really actually helping my team out much here, besides killing people, but, you know, what else are you going to do in a Banshee? You're not going to go capture a flag. The only main things you need to worry about when you're in a Banshee are snipers, warthogs, of course, Mantis, but that's already down, and usually any other vehicle. Uh, the DMRs and battle rifles can be really really stupid I think it's something that 343 should fix there's not much you can do when an entire team is shooting at you with DMRs it's pretty pretty gay because the entire team starts with them there's nothing you can do so I don't know I, I just unlocked the operator specialization so I'm gonna see how well that works with banshees <clears throat> so basically yeah you just run around and try not to get shot at like any Halo game but in the Banshee it's a pretty big different story you have to watch out for everything especially those nasty plasma pistols and uh, another thing that I learned this weekend when rockets are locking on you there is no noise there's no locking on beeping you would never know it was coming unless you saw it. They are very easy to dodge though. You don't even have to roll. But just a warning if you like doing the Banshee thing. Watch out for the rockets. <clears throat> a little bit of backstory I guess about me. Uh, I played pretty much every Halo game. Uh, I got really into it with 2. 2 is my favorite. <clears throat> and. Halo 3 was alright, Reach was not very good in my opinion. Halo 3 I probably played the most. Um, I got to number 16 in the world for Halo 3 Banshee kills total. So, uh, pretty experienced in the Banshee. I hope I know what I'm doing. And I hope I can help you guys out with this video. Uh, we'll be doing a lot more things as we get more footage with uh, different maps, different strategies, and uh, I am the resident vehicle expert, so I'm going to try to get more, more footage with other things than just a banshee. <coughs> so here I'm running away from their mantis or warthog, I don't remember which, but this guy's pretty hilarious, he thinks I'm just going to run away, goes for the turret, I don't think so. Yeah, Banshee Bomb is what you will mainly be using. Um, even vehicles, infantry, it's your first attack. It should be your first attack on anything. And then switch over to the Plasma Cannon. And then back over to the Banshee Bomb when it's ready. You have to be very, very careful in this map to not do what I do here in a couple seconds, which is get boarded, but luckily it turns out all good. 
I don't I don't know if these people were a little bit special or what, but they could not take any of our vehicles down. Um, they weren't really going for our flag. We were being pretty dumb not getting their flag either, but I wasn't really worried about that since I was just focused on killing people. As you can see here, they just fly out the man cannon with no teamwork, no nothing, no intention of taking down vehicles, and they just get mowed down. Like I said, my good friend Flair was <coughs> in the Mantis the entire time. He's a very good pilot, he knows what he's doing, and that's really, really what you need if you're going to survive on a Banshee. You need good teamwork, you need to have that Mantis holding their vehicles back. You need to have somebody getting laser. You need to have somebody on their sniper. Otherwise, you'll just get taken down within a matter of seconds. So here my Banshee is a little bit damaged. I'm trying to be a little cautious. You should always be cautious when you're in a Banshee. You don't want to get shot by anything. Banshees are very, very fragile compared to other vehicles. You can see we have complete map control the entire game. And that's also what you need on Ragnarok, is you need to be in the middle. You need to be not letting them over the hill at all. And of course, it's even more important in Capture the Flag. Don't let them on that Pelican either. As they get on that Pelican, they'll just sit there and camp behind there. And you'll have a hard time getting them out with anything. But as you can see, these people are trapped pretty well in their base. And they got very, very lucky right there with the Mantis. Very unlucky with being boarded. But, like I said, all turns out pretty well. I be an epic fag right here. Don't melee that guy. Just take their Banshee. I should have been able to board it right there. That was, that was pretty bullshit. But... At this point, we're all over their base. They're not even spawning in there anymore. I'm assuming they're spawning over to the right by the rocks and the trees. So I hightail it out of there. Don't want to be caught when they all spawn back. Went over another good friend who really didn't see me coming because obviously he's not that bright either. Here I play a little flag defense. But to pick up a sniper rifle would not work out very well. And at this point, their team has both Banshees. That's another thing I'd really like 343 to address. Is I think the snipers are actually uh, okay for the damage on vehicles, and especially Banshees. It does take, I think, more than four shots. So... That, that's okay, but the whole team DMRing your Banshee, you won't live more than a couple seconds. And it's really hard when, like I said, everybody spawns with a DMR and everybody can see you in a Banshee because you're, you know, in the air. And it doesn't work out very well ever. And at this point, you know, I'm just trying to play some defense. Sitting around the middle, I go for another sniper. And knowing my luck... Somebody grabs it right in front of my face. Thank you, Flair. What are you doing out of your mantis? Stop. So, yeah, nothing to do right now except run around, be a complete faggot, camp, think about what I've done, move again. And I think at this point they do capture our flag. They've gotten it way too far out of our base. I think them having both Banshees had something to do with that. Uh, I didn't see if our sniper took down either of them. But yeah, at this point, um, I sit in our base like a faggot. You know those people on your team who just sit and wait for weapons. Well, you know what? I can't risk another idiot getting in a Banshee. Because you, you've, you've seen them. You've seen them. They get in the Banshee, they fly right up to the middle, think they can live... They don't. At this point, I'm just camping for about a good minute, minute and a half, waiting for the Banshee. 
Like, what, what, do, what do you want me to do? Really? Maybe you can provide a suggestion. Comment what you should have done. What I should have done. Because I really had no idea. I tried. I tried defending the flag. And usually, I can't sit in one spot for very long. No matter what game I play, I'll try to camp. I really try. I try so hard. But I'll sit there for about two minutes and then my ADHD will kick in and I'm just like, fuck this. And usually right when I move out of my camping spot, somebody runs past and kills me due to my amazing luck. But this is another very good hiding spot for the Banshee right behind that rock to the left. Um, you do get a time zone, as in, you know, you are not in the map, get back to the map. You can hide there for a bit though, move around in case somebody's trying to laser you or the Mantis is targeting you. And you can refer back to the beginning of the video when I get in the Banshee. Uh, right behind the base up on the middle is also a very very good hiding spot because you can sit there forever you can look out <coughs> you can see what's going on you can relay information to your teammates about where the mantis or other vehicles are if they have the laser you know whatever's going on and again teamwork is very critical on uh, Ragnarok because if you don't have it, you don't have that middle, you will get overrun quite quickly. And then, just like these people were playing, you get spawn camped in your base, and there's nothing you can do. Oh, I especially love people camping on the Pelican. When I have Banshee, it's so easy to Banshee on them. And at this point, I should have turned around and went for their Banshee before I did right here, I might have gotten a kill. But I didn't. Doesn't matter, it worked out anyway. That's another good thing to do. I mean, take pop shots with the uh, Banshee bombs across the map if you know none of your teammates are over there. You'll eventually get good enough with it, you can angle it correctly to where you should be hitting around people. Now this guy over here, he disappears more than once. I don't know where he goes. I don't know if he has camo or somebody kills him, but he disappears. And another good thing to do while you're in a banshee, if you go over to their base and there's nothing to shoot at, kill their vehicles. That's just another detriment for them. If they don't have any vehicles and you do, it's gonna suck. See, look, he disappears again. I don't. I didn't see anybody kill him. I don't know what's going on, but as long as he's not shooting at me, we won't have a problem. And a sniper starts shooting at me, so I have to get out. That's not a very happy thing when snipers are shooting at you in vehicles. And this this poor guy in the ghost. He just gets rammed up against the wall. Gives me my invincible banshee bomb nails him right in the face. I actually went back into the theater and looked at it. He gets jettisoned out of the ghost right up against the wall as the Banshee bomb hits. It's not a very pretty sight. What I did right there, usually you should not splatter people in a Banshee. You it just, you don't want to. You really don't want to splatter people because that's just, usually you will hurt yourself on the ground. Um, there's an increased risk of being jacked. It's just not worth it when you have Banshee Bomb and a Plasma Cannon at your disposal. You, you know, Unless somebody's running away from you along the ground, I would not try splattering them or, you know, they're in your face trying to board you and just accelerate away. Usually you'll splatter them anyway. <laughs> But yeah, if, if you keep at it, Banshees are a very, very powerful tool. And here, I'm I'm not even sure what I was doing. Uh, I was getting shot at by their sniper. I didn't know who to go for. People were trying to board me. People were trying to plasma pistol me. So I'm just like, you know what, fuck it. I'm going to blow up your warthog. I come back. Nobody's there. Double or the inconceivable. Ten 
to notice at this point. I've only gotten, what, maybe two, three, if that kills outside of the Banshee. And this is also another risky place. When your Banshee is this hurt, you know, it doesn't have another stage to go to to tell you that you're going to die. You will just die after this. So, you either have to play very, very, very cautious and only shoot people you know you can get away with shooting, like this guy wasn't even looking at me, or go steal one of their Banshees. can't believe I missed that Banshee bomb right there, but luckily this was another... Uh, not so bright person. It's very, very hard to deal with me <coughs> in a banshee battle. I welcome, I welcome people to challenge me. Um, if you would like my gamer tag, it is displayed in the bottom middle. If you want to send me a friend request or a challenge to duel me in a banshee, I am more than welcome it. So yes, there's the score. 45 and 0, most of it in a Banshee. So there you go, folks. Hope this helped. Um, if you want to check out any of our other videos, they contain lots of useful information. Check out our Facebook, like and comment, and hopefully we can bring you more in the future. Thanks for watching.